a very good morning to y'all from Brussels Belgium today Saturday and I'm taking you on a long distance bike ride so today we're gonna do the famous green belt the green belt is either the long one which is about 125 kilometers or it's a smaller one which I'll be doing now which is about 60 60 kilometers and uh, basically it circles Brussels so there will be some cool sceneries and uh, some lovely places to see because I'm not totally sure about the way I'm using the app Komoot which I highly recommend you can see on my mobile phone here um, it just tells me exactly where I need to go it tells me turn left go south and um, if I miss a turn or something it will re readapt the map so that I can join the original route as soon as possible so Komoot is a highly recommended that you can also use all trails uh, I use the free versions of these apps So today in Brussels, Belgium, it's about 20 degrees centigrade, not too hot, not too cold. It should be a fun day to cycle my way around Europe. Update, I've been uh, cycling about five kilometers in 20 minutes. Um, obviously, it's in, uh, I'm still in the concrete jungle of Brussels, so you've got to go very slow. To, uh, to make sure to blend with the traffic um, but looks like now it's, uh, it's a beautiful countryside uh, path right here at Kamut has been amazing it's really helped me out nicely to find out my path I got lost a few times and um, they couldn't be happier with the weather it's absolutely amazing blue sky sunshine so it's just a pleasure to go cycling um, love these kind of ponds here on the right whoa let's go inside so this is called the green belt of brushers in dutch uh, the groen gordel And it's really a mixture of streets and roads and uh, cycle lanes. Also, what they call cycle super highways, um, which are long distance cycle path for cyclists. And um, looks like today is my first reward of the trip. Look at this. Today we are 27th of May. Um, Two days ago, I celebrated my 39th birthday and uh, I couldn't be happier to, you know, to be able to enjoy the cycle rides, to be able to, to get free and go anywhere I want with my trusted bicycle. Enjoy the landscape and give me a thumbs up if you like it. <coughs> this is by far what I love the most about Belgium. And cycling is Belgium. Just check this out. You're next to a busy road, and um, there are dedicated cycle lanes, which is an absolute pleasure. An absolute pleasure to cycle on. The landscape is pretty cool, industrialized. It's a busy 
railway hub here in Scarbeg by Brussels. Um, it's nice, guys. So. So Ducks Brusher is right there. Hello y'all and uh, welcome to the Museum of the Far East in, uh, in the outskirts of Brussels. Wow, check out this pagoda. Absolutely stunning. So beautiful. Typical Asian architecture. And um, let's discover the museum. Let's check it out. And at the same time, let me give you an update on the Goon Garden. It's really going fantastic so far. I've done about um, twelve kilometers in forty-five minutes. Really taking it slow because it's uh, it's Brussels, is the the city. So I gotta be careful, but um, let's just investigate real quick the Museum of the Far East. Maybe there are some cherry trees. Absolutely stunning. Looks like it's actually closed, but the parks are accessible for anyone. Wow. Well, I'd like to buy this place and make it into a world-class museum. Cool place. Let's resume our green valve. Check out this lovely surprise, the Atomium in Brussels. This is a famous park of Lycan um, near the, of course, the royal palace where the king and queen live, and but the beautiful Atomium. So let me give you a quick uh, history history lesson about the Atomium. It was built for the World Expo of 1958, which took place in Brussels. It was only intended um, to last a couple of years, but um, as you can see, it's uh, outlasted its, um, its expensive date. So it's an absolutely beautiful building and with the Belgian flag on top. I love how the sun reflects on, the, on its sphere. It's absolutely stunning. On my way to the Atomium.
yhtään. Absolutely stunning. They told me I'm in Brussels. Can you count how many spheres there are? landmark of Brussels. So there are nine spheres. So I was really nicely stunned to um, to see the atomium I knew I was gonna go through Laken but I completely missed the atomium in my planning and I'm so glad I was able to take some beautiful shots and videos of a beautiful atomium um, with a sunny background wow such a great place for a nice and quick break and um, now I'm hanging around in uh, it looks like a really really vast park in the outskirts of Laken, I believe in North Brussels and uh, lots of greens, it's a beautiful place it's not like the Shinkansen in Japan but it's still a nice train spotting place Hello y'all, I've just gone past the Kugelberg Cemetery and uh, it's a nice uh, forest here, it's stunning, lots of shade. So far, I must admit, I really enjoy this cycle ride. Um, of course, I wish there were more places in nature and everything, uh, lots of it is in the the urban jungle of Brussels is but anyways it's still amazing guys it's still a great place to go cycling um, especially when there are some nice places like here the Greener Gordel is such a great way to get to know Brussels with a little bit of more intimacy it's about going inside some neighborhoods going next to schools you know cycling in urban parks going to the outskirts of the capital but also getting close to big monuments such as the atomium it's such a nice path and not all the green belt has been set up for cyclists but a good chunk of it so I would say that without a map you would get lost for sure you would get lost but with a GPS like Komoot the free version it will redirect you anytime you stray of course so such a beautiful ride guys and the weather 
couldn't have been any better today. Check this out. I love being able to see fields with apartment blocks in the background, some pretty nice cobblestone streets, cows. Wow. Along the canal to the centrum of Brussels. So here I'm in the outskirts of Anderlecht. Eras Hospital is this way, IKEA as well, and I'm just gonna cycle my way on this beautiful canal path. Such a stunning day for cycling. Couldn't be any happier guys. Kamut, my trusted friend, with my girl Kamut, there's no way you're getting lost. So, I see some signs with uh, Port of Brussels, so obviously, maybe a century ago it was a thriving port, at least for Belgium. But yeah, Brussels has a port. Some kayak. I love the difference in scenery from, you know, you start in, I started in um, East Br Brussels and, you know, you go through the neighborhood of Scarbeck and everything. Straight ahead, the port of Brussels. train tracks here on top Ecluse d'Anderlecht. Love this type of landscape with majestic tall trees. I've done about 80% of the ride. And I must just say that um, once I reached the Air Rhymes Hospital in Anderlecht. The path afterwards was so nice. It's been a pleasure to ride ever since. Very, very little road and lots of nature and countryside lanes, cycle lanes. It's such a pleasure to cycle in this weather and in these conditions. This landscape, you would 
actually forget that you're in Belgium. You could think that you're in Oregon or in California. I mean, they're not redwood trees, but they sure look alike.